Well, I run by here almost every Saturday and I've watched the fence go up and I've watched it come down and they've taken the outer perimeter down, the big ugly concertina wire fences down and now we can get to the Grant Pond and uh, I see that the fence has been pulled back to just on the perimeter of the actual Capitol grounds. So um, it's a much more uh, inviting environment now. It's a welcome sign. Um, it restores the Capitol to what it's supposed to be, which is the people's house. And I think it also reflects that uh, they are better prepared to handle the situation now than they were on January 6th. So we're more open, but also more safe, hopefully. You know, I think the fences are just sends the wrong message, not only to the U.S., but also to the world. Yeah, I agree. And I think that, um, you know, there has to be a subtle subtlety to it so that we understand what this stands for. I mean, it was a, I think, an aberration. I don't know if the people that really came here really understood what they were doing. Uh, and maybe they do now, or at least some of them do. And uh, let's hope that it never happens again. There's still that tension out there, which is. But I think I think it should come down. I think they have to have something where you know people can enjoy the capital, something that's unobtrusive. Um, obviously, office security if it's needed. It's, I guess it's cooler one step closer to the, the capital, to the fence. Yeah. Hopefully, next time I come, it'll all be down. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe. Maybe not. Yeah. Our rights can be temporarily suspended for the betterment of people ensuring that our rights are given back to us, then by all means, I fully support the fact that maybe a fence went up, you know, temporarily. I fully support a fence being taken down, and I fully support full access of all of these government buildings, entities, and structures and services for all the people of our country. The voicing of individual thoughts and freedoms is becoming contrary to the person beside you, to other cultures, and has a chance of creating conflict and destroying the fabric of our society. It is my hope that we can all come together and irrespective of the fact that my upbringing or my value system is different from yours, that somehow we can all peacefully coexist and enjoy the promise that America has given us.